Davis for the morning of Friday, jobs report day, September 6, 2024, just after 7.50 a.m. Central Time. Let's take a look, if we could, at the jobs report, and then I'll come back with everything else. When you look at the non-farm payroll data, 142,000 jobs. The whisper number this morning was 150. Traders were all over the place from the 160 to 165 level in most of the estimates. The unemployment rate came in as expected. You took the private sector and went up 21,000 jobs and up 7,000 jobs in the government. Not big jumps one way or the other. The participation rate didn't change. The average hourly earnings did go up 14 cents. You went up on the earnings month over month four tenths. The average hourly earnings were 3.83% higher. They expected 3.7. There was more overtime. Hours weren't being cut as I looked at it. There were revisions that made July even worse, taking it down to 89,000 from the 114, and the unemployment rate was left there. So what does this report do in plain English? It gives no reason for the Fed to go 50 basis points. I see the Fed going 25 basis points off of this. And look at the other reports to see what they're going to do. I'm already watching this morning the early reactions and traders are extrapolating how far is it going to take the terminal rate. You don't know that. Come on. What you look at right now is the reaction to this, deal with the report that you have. The Fed seems very committed to going to a rate cut. John Williams, the president of the um, New York Federal Reserve this morning, this morning after the report, first reaction, he sees a rate cut coming, and I think that there's no reason for the Fed to go into a panic mode. Therefore, I think 25 basis points will be where you end up. What does that mean for the market? Well, before I get too far along, I do want to remind you that our sale is still going on right at this point. Let me get to where it's at here. And you can get any of these different parts of our sale instead of paying 180, 99, instead of for three month combo, 84, 49, uh, the morning subscriber videos. You can go to irapstein.com and in the top left of it, you will see the link that will take you right into the sale area. This ends Sunday, probably in the morning, so you have very little time to take advantage. So let's take a look at the markets now, if we could, together, and see just what they are doing. Let's get this to jump for me. Here we go, all right. Why are we up? Why are we coming down in some of the markets? You had the worst case scenarios being built in. We had heard that uh, you know, it's gonna be 50 basis points, the labor market's falling off the face of the earth. I gotta tell you, 142,000 jobs isn't falling off the face. Why did it jump up? Tell me about Hurricane Burl. Tell me about in the summer that we took workers in the auto plants for the retooling and they got laid off and now they're all being called back to work. That is what is going on. So the market weakening, absolutely. The market falling out of bed, a flat no, and treat it as such. So does this bullish for the stock market? No, you have a weakening economy, it's gonna need help. But did it get maybe a little ahead of itself on the break? Yes. Does it change the bullishness in the gold? Not in any manner as I see it. Is, is it supportive of copper? No. You still have weakening in the economy. Is this supportive to the dollar? No, you're gonna be breaking the dollar in terms of cutting interest rates. That's a pressure on it. On the energy markets, well, at least it's not the US is falling out of bed now with China. Is that enough to get a dramatic rally? I doubt it very much. Bonds and notes, well, you got up to 115.10. That was probably an overreaction in the market. You got down under 56,000 in Bitcoin. Maybe it's going to find some support now in the marketplace. Uh, so I got a lot more to say, but I'll say it in my morning subscriber videos for you. So one more time, please take advantage if you're serious about following me uh, with this three-month trial for yourself. Prices, come on. If you go to Starbucks, Peace Coffee, whatever it is, you spend way more than that a month and you 